On today's video, I'm going to show you how I use that to charge this right here on Real Clear Media. Four years ago, I picked up this uh, Chevy Volt 2012 model. Um, it takes about 10 kilowatt hours to charge it up. It's actually a pretty small battery for an electric vehicle. It has about a 40 mile range, which gets me around most days uh, entirely on electric. And then, of course, a gas generator kicks in, giving you uh, another 200 miles or so. Anyway, the fact that I now had an electric powered car and that uh, we had our power knocked out several times due to hurricanes, I decided I needed to install a solar backup system that I could also use to charge the car. Okay, so this is the charging cable that came with the car. It has a uh, standard 1772 plug, which a lot of electric vehicles use. Uh, Teslas have their own proprietary plug, but uh, many of the other ones use this. Technically, this is a charging cable, or something known as an EVSE, which is Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment. And this is known as a Level 1 charging cable. Runs on a standard 120 volts AC and can give you up to 1400 watts. Um, that would take about 6 hours to maybe 8 hours to charge the volt back up. Um, now, to charge faster than that, you can get what's called a Level 2 charger. A level 2 charger runs at 240 volts um, and comes in a range of amperages all the way up to maybe 80 amps. The common ones though are 16 amps which gives you 3.3 kilowatts of power or 30 amps which gives you 7.2 kilowatts of power and a lot of different vehicles uh, have those capabilities. The volt can only charge at a maximum of 3.3 kilowatts which takes about three and a half hours to charge, or about half the time of the level one charger. Okay, and here is the charging cable that I got. It's called a Zen car. I got it at Amazon for around $230. It does a lot of really neat things that come in useful if you're using this with solar power. And the first thing is it can use either 120 volts or 240 volts. Currently, my solar energy system is running at 120 volts, but I'm planning on expanding that to run 240 in the very near future. The AC plug on the unit is a NEMA 620, which is made for 240 volts at 16 amps, but you also get an adapter cable. And you get this adapter cable to convert it to a NEMA 515, which is standard 120 volt power, uh, also known as an Edison socket. And this has got a really nice display on it, too. Um, we start up here at the top. You've got the running amount of time or how long the charger has been charging. The temperature of the charger, the volts and amps that are coming in, in my case, from the solar power. Uh, also, what's going out, 10.7 amps, and the kilowatts that are actually going out. This is live in real time. This is the charging icon. When you're not connected, it shows ready. When you hook it up, it goes to connected, and then it starts showing the charging. And also the accumulated kilowatt hours, which uh, stays there until you disconnect the power and then it resets itself. You can also change the amps that you're sending out of this by double tapping right here. If you watch that, it goes from 6 amps to 8 amps, 10 to 12 to 16. Um, this could come in really handy if you have a smaller um, array of solar panels or if you just have a cloudy day and you still want to charge and you don't want to drain your batteries down. This display is my Victron color control and it measures power going through the whole system. And we're currently using about 1680 or 90 watts that's charging the car but we're also running some computers and other small things in the house here and you can see that the solar panels are providing all of the power right now and they can actually go up to 3000 some watts 
Okay, and this is on a cloudy day, and I have changed the Zencar setting to 6 amps down from 16, and it's only now pulling about 879 watts, and uh, my panels are not producing as much today, but they can still keep up with this, and they're still charging the battery. Okay, let's take a quick look at my entire solar energy system and how it works. But before we do, if you're finding this video useful, make sure you reach down and hit that subscribe button and also check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Follow some of the links down below to find the cool things you see in this video. I've used affiliate links whenever possible. And now let's take a quick look at the whole solar energy system. So I started out with about 2,000 watts of solar panels. I've since uh, more than doubled that. And now I've got about 4,800 watts. And since you never actually get the rated amount of power, I'm actually pulling down about 3,300 watts in the peak of the day. And the power from the panels goes through these uh, Victron chargers to charge these batteries. Ironically, pulled from Chevy Volts, and I bought them used on eBay. This 3000 watt grow watt inverter then changes the DC power into AC and then the AC power goes through this breaker box and it feeds several loads including the car charger. And by just adding one more grow watt inverter and hooking them up in parallel I would go from 3000 watts to 6000 watts split phase at 240 volts AC and could charge the car at its full rate of 3.3 kilowatts and still have power to spare. So this Zen car also seems to be available under other names. Okay, so we're in Amazon under my orders, and this is the Zen car that I ordered last year on uh, February the 2nd. But when you click on the link, instead of seeing a Zen car, you actually see uh, something called Mi Gear. However, it looks exactly the same. And you can see that uh, if you come over here, you still get that adapter cable. And it still says down here that you can charge at level 1 and level 2. Okay, so if you type Zencar into the search box in uh, Amazon, you get this one. And it's slightly different. The uh, logo looks a little different. And you've got... Here, let me get over... You can see this little plug is a NEMA 1030 socket made for 230 volts. It no longer says anything about being able to run on uh, 120 or to 240. So if that's something that you need, you want to look at the Mi Gear. So I'll put links to both of them down below. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.